Welcome to the short episode, uh, Dr. James Beckett, Sports Card Insights. Uh, thanks sponsors, Beckett Media, Beckett Grading, Beckett Authentication, ComC.com, Heritage Auctions, Huggins and Scott Auctions, Burbank Sports Cards, Mike's Stadium Sports Cards, Tops, Panini, and Upper Deck. Uh, I entitled this short episode just uh, Collection Breakdown Math. I don't think that Rob Varis is my only... Uh, audience for this, but uh, certainly I would be interested in comparing notes. And rather than comparing notes and doing this together, I'm going to throw out what I have first and let Rob or any of others who have bought a, uh, a collection, I'm talking about at least a monster box worth, a monster box or two. Uh, what do you do after you get it? How long does it take you to do certain things? <laughs> so I have experimented and I did it uh, mostly myself. I've had help, but I mostly did myself. And figured out that, uh, again, it's fun going through a box of cards, especially when you don't know what's in there, uh, except that you know there's some pretty good stuff in there, otherwise you wouldn't have taken it. But this same math applies to whether or not the box is... It could have been free. You could have gotten a couple box of cards for free. And as I think I've said before, free is not necessarily free, uh, unless you want to consider your labor is totally free. And labor, fun labor can be free, but some of this is not so much fun. So starting off, so you get these uh, this monster box or two. Uh, first thing, I've gotten collections before that everything was in a top loader. Not not fun. It, it's way heavier. It takes up a lot of room. Uh, so I take the cards out of the top loaders. I can do that in four seconds per card, which means I can do 900 cards an hour. So when you do the math, if I had monster boxes full of cards, if you know if it was you know 5,000 cards or let's say 4,500 cards, it would be five hours of just removing cards from top loaders. And again, it could be faster or slower, depending on if there's inner, inner, inner penny sleeves or the cards are thicker. And uh, as a alert, I've actually uh, put a band, I don't wear gloves, but I put a band-aid on places where my finger rubs it. Okay, it could be worse. They could be in screw downs. Again, even more weight. And those take me 15 seconds per card to remove the screws. Again, depends on how many screws. Sometimes there's one, sometimes there's a bunch, but that's only 240 cards an hour. Okay, so if you get a big box of uh, screw down cards, uh, not uh, you, you've got to factor that in. Uh, nine pocket sheets. I I don't I know people who do like them. I don't. And the or, I'm talking about the orderly removal, not just turning them upside down and 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 shaking shaking the cards out and watching all the cards cards get uh, dinged as they as they fly every direction. But an orderly removal for me is three seconds per card, and that's 1,200 cards an hour. So again, if I get a bunch of albums worth of cards, uh, it's it it you know it, that's can be an hour or a half hour per album. Um, again, highly variable based on the type of sheet, the way, way it's opened. Uh, you know, the, the the again, it's you can go faster if you don't need to maintain the order. But if the if the set, if it's a complete set in a plastic in plastic sheets, you want to take it out. I can do twelve hundred cards an hour. Well, what if they're not? Were they're just in a penny sleeves? Well, for me, penny sleeves, again, depending on the vintage of penny sleeves, the newer ones that are extra shiny and slippery, as opposed to the old ones that are more uh, rubbery and and different opacity. Um, when I put all that together, it takes me two seconds per card. That's 1,800. So if I get a box, if I got a monster box of cards and penny sleeves, I don't want to take the penny sleeves off. It, that's going to be a couple hours. Okay, so once I get the cards down to just regular cards, uh, I'll make an initial first pass of this collection, and I can do at least one card per second in breaking the cards out by sport. I've got one giant pile of cards that are commons, not worth even breaking into sport, and in this first pass, I'm breaking out things that are junk or things that I'm not going to sell that I'm going to give away, as opposed to then for each sport, I've got two piles. One is a better pile something that's worth breaking out, and then a best pile, which would mean it could go to uh, ComC or eBay or could be graded or, um, you know, show stock or whatever, wherever you would sell. So I'm left now after that. I can So I can almost do a monster box in, a, in, in an hour uh, with uh, one per second, depending on how crammed they are in there. So now I've got a, uh, perhaps a box of baseball, and so I want to sort the baseball by alphabetical order. Again, that's my technique. You may be done there. You may just have a box of baseball that's better baseball and put it in a and uh, sell it a show and not sort it. But I've, I've been breaking it down by alphabetic. My first alphabetical sort, which is to break it into the uh, first letter of the player's last name. Again, this all would be in baseball. I can do about between one and one and a half seconds per card, probably 
you know, depends on if the cards are, if they're in teams, if they're all different eras, that's a problem. If, you know, sometimes they uh, stick together. Uh, and if you pull only superstars, it takes a little less time. If the print on the cards is real small, there's lots of different ways where it'd be more or less. But I figure a second and a half per card, which is uh, 2,400 cards an hour. And, uh, and that gets me uh, the first letter of the car player's last name. And then the last thing is if my second alphabetical source within that last letter takes me another one and a half seconds or another 2,400 cards per hour that I can break down that lot into, uh, into a perfect alphabetical order. And again, that's uh, what uh, my last application here, I'm out of time now, is that when I look, so what that says is when I look at a monster box, at a dollar box, I'm thinking that's going to take me an hour to go through it. And so if somebody's got three monster boxes, they, they, they better be good, or I'm not going to sit there for three hours, uh, certainly not in the post-coronavirus world. So uh, this is my, my math teacher had it put on today. Uh, you throw it away if you don't want it, but if you're ever buying a collection and you thought it was free, um, these are some of the things you might consider for how long it's going to take you to know what you got. Thanks, listeners.